Yeah, it's great that the second half of the, the year has started and there are lots of um, events in, in the pipeline uh, from the German um, side, uh, the German club, the German um, chamber as we and of course the, the embassy, everybody is working to strengthen the, the relations between the Philippines and, and Germany and um, of course the, the new ambassador, ambassador will also probably bring, bring new ideas and. Uh, participate as well to strengthen the relationship. I think the, the aspect which is very important is that Germany and the Philippines have just signed uh, a joint declaration that they will set up um, an economic uh, mixed uh, joint economic committee. Uh, this is a, a system or a format of cooperation that Germany has with several countries and it's, it's great that now we will have this uh, with the Philippines. It is a, a committee that will regularly meet on an annual basis Exist, um, to exchange and to discuss economic matters. And there are lots of great potentials here in the Philippines, which we see as, as a chamber. Um, and uh, we hope that more of these potential will be then discussed between the two, two sides. And so we get the message better, better passed on to, to Germany as, as well. But on the other side, we hope as well that in the format of this joint economic committee, we can also address uh, certain issues which are important for our companies here, as I said, as well as for Philippine companies, Filipino companies in, in, in Germany. What, what do you, uh, as part of the GPCCI, uh, what do you wish that the government would be able to uh, do for the Chamber of Commerce? As I said, there are, there are lots of potential, and particularly Besides the, the strength of the market here and the consumer demand and the growing consumer demand, there's this momentum at the moment. We see that, that companies, German companies, but in general companies are looking for having a, a second or third uh, plant in Asia um, to, to, to avoid being only linked to, to China. And so companies look to consumer demand and the growing consumer demand. There's this momentum at the moment. We see that. that companies, German companies, but in general companies are looking for having a, a second or third uh, plant in Asia um, to, to, to avoid being only linked to, to China. And so companies look to, for opportunities and they set up factories uh, in Vietnam and Thailand and we hope lots of them will also come to, to the Philippines. But how we need at the same time here, of course, for this foreign investment, we need um, transparency, visibility with regard to the investment laws and particularly also with regard to the uh, Sitira, with regard to the taxation um, and the incentive uh, system. So we hope that there will be a solution uh, found quickly, that we have a visibility on this, this issue. And I think one aspect which is very important there is that I think with the PISA zone we had a system that worked quite well, uh, which actually worked very well. We have very positive feedback about this. Companies were satisfied with the system. So. We think if there is totally a disruptive movement in the tax system here, perhaps we leave the companies in the PESA zone out, leave them with the PESA regime, with the system of PESA, and apply the tax system first to other companies, see if it works, readjust it if it's necessary, and then you come and, and, and get, use this experienced system, improved system, then uh, as well for foreign companies. At the moment, I think it's very important to have this, this security, legal security for the companies which are here, which have good experience with PESA, so that they can advertise as well, say, come on guys, we have been here in the PESA zone, great experience, come on, come on over here, uh, you, can, you can do the same here. Uh, so I think this is one of the aspects which is very important, but we do understand as well that the government here, um, which is a very good approach, has to, to balance the budget. And um, when they lower the, the corporate income tax, of course, they have to find other, other sources. Um, we do understand this as well, and uh, this has to be taken into account. However, lowering the income tax from 30% to 20% and taking this over a period of 8, 9, 10 years, this is probably too long as well to be competitive in the, in the region. Um, if I look on the other ASEAN countries, uh, they, are, they are all between, they are all, some of them are down to 17%, 20%, 22%, uh, 25%. So lowering it one year by one year by one percent. This is not an not, um, ambitious property enough so to, to get a better standing there at this momentum to, to, to size the moment. Um, I think there must be more dynamic in there. 
What, what do you expect with the new ambassador right now? How do you plan to uh, embark on the programs that you want to do for the Philippines, uh, Dr. Martin? We, we have met her um, uh, twice, the board of the GPCC, I will, will meet her as well on, on, on this, this Friday. Um, she, will be, she will be attending an event uh, of us on uh, Thursday and, and then again Thursday afterwards. So they, we have a good, good relationship already established with, with her and we are certain that will um, grow, grow stronger. Um, I, I think once again one point which is very important uh, for both sides is that we speak more about the opportunities and that there are on the both sides um, and um, I'm, I'm sure she, is, uh, she, she will participate in this and contribute to this. Um, once again, there is this, this big potential that the relationship are, are well and, and the government on both sides, the, the governments on both sides have just improved the relationship by once again saying we have this joint declaration, we will set up the joint economic um, committee. This will be, really have a big, 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 big positive impact. I've seen this in other countries where Germany has this joint uh, committee already. There's, there's a very, very positive. Thing.